to my channel for another pregnancy related video. In today's video, I'm sharing with you guys a baby girl haul. So I was gonna do a massive haul for you guys when I got more things. Not that baby girl needs a ton of big ticket items because this is baby number four for my husband and I and we already have a lot of things. Mind you, she does need like a crib because our toddler is still in a crib and we need a double stroller as well. But everything else when it comes to pack and plays, swings, rock and plays, bouncers, activity gyms, uh, bottles, things like that, we have them already. So she doesn't need a ton of things. This is gonna become Baby Girl's Nursery in about a month or six weeks. So we are super excited for that. So if you like those types of videos, don't forget to subscribe and turn your bell on so that you don't miss when I post those videos. With that being said, I am gonna jump into this baby girl haul, show you guys the few items that I ended up getting. I think I'm gonna do some smaller hauls as well, just so it's not a huge amount of items at once. I do carefully pick through items when I go shopping. I'm not the type of person who's gonna shop for $5,000 worth of things right away. I like to make sure I'm getting things on sale. I also like to make sure that I'm getting um, items that we're gonna need and items that we know she's gonna wear. Uh, I'm pretty picky when it comes to um, rompers and clothing and things like that. I like for my sleepers to have zips as well. That's just more convenient. So I think as a seasoned mom, I know pretty much what we're gonna get but I also like to get some cute items as well. With that being said, let's jump into the clothing portion of this video. All right, so for the first clothing item, I ended up getting this Carter's three-piece suit. So this is like a very light pink with a little bit of ruching here and some two pockets right here. This is in a size three months. I figure she'll wear newborn because all of my other babies have worn newborn clothing. Uh, but even in the summer on chilly summer nights or in the spring, cause she is due in April, um, this will be super neat. It's also super cute because it's got this little bunny hood with this floral pattern and I love floral patterns for little girls. Her nursery is going to have some of that as well. You'll see that in just a minute. And she is due to be born right around Easter, which is so exciting. So if she does come before Easter, this might be a little bit big on her, but I can also get a newborn one. And it also has the floral pants, which are super cute and it comes with just a white and pink striped onesie. I actually ended up getting this for 30% off on sale and then I had an additional 20 on top of that. So I think I paid something like $12 for this outfit and that is a super good deal. The next outfit is more of a summer outfit. So when it starts to get a little bit warmer in May and June and July, this is also in a three month size. I am totally in love with this style and the gingham. It's so, so cute. It's just like so modern yet timeless. It has little ruffles on the arms here, which is super cute. Oh my gosh, you're gonna hear me say super cute so much in this video because I have never had a girl before. I have never bought for a girl really. There's not a lot of girls in my life. And this is just so, so cute. And Carter's actually has the matching headband and little sun hat as well. I am gonna pick one of those up. I haven't done so yet, but I have to do it. I have to go out when it gets on sale and pick one up. This is just the cutest little thing. And what I love about it is that this little diaper cover is attached. So it's basically like a romper, but it looks like a little dress and it has these little ruffles, ruching, whatever you call, around the thighs. And that is just gonna be like, Super cute. Now I'm not all about dressing my small little infants in cute clothes like this all the time because what, mind you, the material seems quite comfortable. It's not like the material of a onesie or a sleeper, which I typically have my newborns in quite a bit. But if we're going out or um, we want her to be a little bit cuter or dressed up a little bit, this will be super cute and also has wide buttons on the back, which is not my preference because you're still shimmying something over their head but it's wide enough that it opens up pretty big at the head and you're not like fussing with it. So this is gonna be, oh my gosh, like so adorable. And again, this was 30% off plus the additional 20. Uh, so it was a really good price. The next one I ended up getting, and now I swore I would never put my little girl in blue because I've had blue for the past nine years. My eldest son is nine. Um, but this was just so cute and it seems like something that I wore when I was a little girl. Again, very timeless, very nice. It has these little floral details on it. It's a vertical light blue and white striped. It's the same principle here underneath. It looks like um, a dress with a diaper cover, but it's really not. I really want to make sure that when I'm getting little items like this, that I'm getting items that are one pieces still, because then 
um, you're not having exposed tummy and skin when you're holding your newborn or your small baby. Again, this is in a three month size. It's gonna be so, so cute guys. Like, oh my God, my life is going to dramatically change. <laughs> I've said this many times when shopping for her, but it's going to dramatically change and I'm just so excited. It has this little eyelet at the back with this little button. Again, probably not the most practical thing, but oh my gosh, like look how adorable this is. So, so cute. The next clothing item I ended up getting is just this little sun hat with, it's like a light pink with some hearts on it and just this little pretty bow. It's in a zero to 12 months. My babies have had bigger heads, so this might be a little big in the beginning, but maybe in July and August when it's really hot and sunny, this will fit her perfectly. Again, my babies don't stay outside in the heat very much. We do spend a lot of time outside, but I'm not exposing my newborns and small infants to the sun a lot. But if we're walking and she's in the carrier or um, transferring or something like that, then this little hat will be super cute and just cover her little head and her ears as well. So it's really cute. When I saw this next piece at Carter's, I had to get it. Like I mentioned, she is due right around Easter. And this little bunny hat, guys, is like the cutest thing in the entire world. It's just this like knit kind of material. It has these stand-up little bunny ears. I ended up getting this in a three to nine months. Again, like I've mentioned, my babies have had bigger heads and I was worried that the zero to three would be too small. It looked a little small. Again, I might have to get that if she's born before Easter and she could wear something like this. Uh, it tends to still be cool in April here. Um, you can have some really hot Aprils. I'm not saying that we don't because we've had times in March and February where it was really nice and warm. But just in case, we got her this super adorable little hat. Like, oh my gosh, guys. So, so cute. And that's gonna go perfectly with the other outfit or even something else that we wanna dress her up around Easter. And then the last clothing related item I ended up getting are just these little faux leather shoes or slippers they're like the Roby's brand but they're a knockoff brand I ended up getting these um, not too long ago actually they're just this light pink with a white heart and some little dots and mind you she's not gonna be walking between zero and six months my babies have had big feet. I guess I just make big babies because my toddler has huge feet my son who's nine his feet are bigger than mine and I've got big feet so but I mean, this is just something that's gonna cover up her feet, look pretty cute as well. If you wanna be out and um, it's getting into the fall time or a little bit cooler and her socks are just not sufficient, these will be super cute as well. And then she'll be able to get bigger pairs for when she starts cruising and stuff just to cover up her little feet. All right, so now that I'm done all of the clothing items, I'm gonna show you guys what I ended up getting for like bath and healthcare products as well. So the first thing in that category are the Live Clean Baby products. So I actually ended up getting two tearless baby washes and an eczema shampoo and wash. We carry these in the house all the time. We have some bigger bottles for my toddler because he has been using these since day one as well. It has been our favorite. We love them. He doesn't react to them. The cream does really well on him. The bum ointment as well. So we just really like these. I actually use Live Clean in my hair and on my body as well, especially during pregnancy. I'm trying to stay away from harmful chemicals and things like that. I'm also trying to be a little bit more mindful in the products that I am using in our day-to-day -day life. Uh, but we really, really like these products and I thought it might be nice just to share those with you guys and for her to have her own little stash in the nursery as well. I'm not sure how long my toddler will use these for. Probably still a little while, but um, I just wanted to stock up. They were a really, really good deal. The last item in the bathing category is just her very own set of washcloths. These are a mix of pinks and whites, and they're just super cute, and they're probably not high-end washcloths. I think they were like $6 at Toys R Us for 12 of them. They're not high-end, but they're definitely really good when your baby's smaller, before they get big. My toddler has some bigger washcloths now, some that are more durable and thick. But these are nice and soft and they'll be definitely good for her for the first at least six months. And I mean, I like to change out their washcloths every so often anyways. We're wiping their faces with these. We're washing them in the bathtub with them. 
and they just get to be gross after a while and for six dollars it's definitely a really really good buy with this little baby girl being our fourth baby combined i'm not sure if we're gonna have a sprinkle or a baby shower so I ended up getting some smaller items anyways. I know a lot of people like to purchase gifts. Mind you, it's not necessary at all, but a lot of friends and family will buy like some clothing items or receiving blankets or pacifiers and things like that. And that is all super well appreciated, but I'm definitely not expecting anyone to do that. So I'm trying to get a little bit of everything, not an abundance of clothes and stuff because they don't need that much, but I'm definitely trying to get a few little items as well just to have them. Again, not rely on anyone to do that. All right, so to finalize this haul, we're gonna move on to some miscellaneous as well as some nursery stuff that I ended up picking up. Her nursery definitely needs to come together pretty soon. Uh, so I'm getting a few items here and there. Like I mentioned, I love to shop on sale. I like to really pick the items mindfully instead of buying a ton of stuff. So I have a few items right here. So the first thing I got is this mummy hook. I guess this is like a knockoff brand of the mummy hook. It actually comes with a smaller hook and a bigger hook, which I'm super happy about. My stroller when I'm shopping looks like this great big deal of bags everywhere. My uh, diaper bag has some clips on it, which clips up really, really well. But I figured having two babies and a storage basket underneath I might invest in something like this to carry my purse or some shopping bags when I'm shopping. Don't know how I'm gonna shop with a toddler and a newborn, guys. Let me know in the comments if you guys have done that. I struggle to shop with a toddler right now. Maybe the newborn won't be as hard, but I know at some point I'm gonna have to do it. And this was on sale, it was a really good deal. And I just figured I would invest in something like this. If you guys are new, we also have a trailer on the lake that we go to every weekend and we spend a lot of the summer there. And a lot of the time I'm alone with the four kids or the three kids, which will be the four kids. So carrying things on the stroller up and down from the beach area, this should definitely come in handy as well. The next item I have is a little bit controversial. We didn't use this when my toddler was a newborn a lot, but he definitely loves them now and he's grown into them. It is a Wubbinub or a pacifier or whatever type of pacifier lovey you want to get this one here is just a white little lamb my toddler has three they're more boyish colors so we definitely want to get her her own because he'll probably not outgrow his before she's born and then again this is something that's more a personal item to you a lot of people say uh, don't introduce pacifiers to your infants or your newborns they'll get nipple confusion i am planning on exclusively breastfeeding or breast milking or whatever you call that with some bottles, but expressing breast milk into a bottle so that I can have my sanity and my husband can help out. And when my mom's around, she will help out. And that just allows them to bond with the baby as well. I have never had any issue introducing pacifiers, bottles to my newborns. Obviously in the first couple days, um, I'm not gonna do bottles. Probably for the first like month, I won't do bottles. I'll just exclusively breastfeed to develop not only the non-nipple confusion, but also develop that bond between baby and I. But oh my gosh, guys, like pacifiers have definitely been a godsend. I could not be my baby's human pacifier. My toddler breastfed, oh my gosh, so much, like 10 to 12 times a day for the first like five months maybe. And I could not have him attached to me more than 10 times a day. Like that was just more than what I could do. So I introduced the pacifier. He did not want to take it for the first four months. And then finally he sucked it up and took it. And then we breastfed him fine until he was 16 months and self weaned himself. I was hmm, 18 weeks pregnant when he stopped breastfeeding. And I felt like that was a good time in order for me to have a little bit of me time, some catch up time, time for my body to rest between him and then the new baby and also time for him to not forget about breastfeeding but just not associate my breast to comfort or milk for him. So a pacifier, do as ever you please, but for us it was definitely a must. We only got one of this kind because these are like friggin' expensive and getting like multiple of these if she doesn't end up liking them is definitely a waste of money. So I'm probably gonna get a few kinds of pacifiers and just test them out but this is the one that my toddler ended up loving, so I just ended up getting one just in case. And then the last items I ended up getting are nursery items, and they're pink and cute and floral, and oh my gosh, guys, they are so cute. So the first one is this cushy, organic, 
uh, crib sheet. It's like in a really light pink, which is so, so cute. The material on this is so soft. It actually comes in this little pouch, which is super awesome. And it's just a very straight up organic cotton and it's pink. Like it's just <laughs> very self-explanatory. I think in the past we've done really well with two to three crib sheets. Again, being very mindful, being more on the minimalist side because there's no need for 10 of these. I wash my laundry every second day at a max and probably more often having a newborn. So if there is a spill, a mess, a blowout, or they just get dirty, uh, then I will be able to quickly interchange them and then wash the other one. So right now I've got two. I might get a third one, but for the time being, I have two of these. Now I'm sort of regretting not getting two of these uh, organic cottons because they're super soft and cozy, but I did end up getting this Levtech baby fitted sheet as well. Mainly, well, number one, it is nice and soft and comfy. It's not the organic, but it is 100% cotton and it has like the white and pink and gray color and this uh, little design is just super cute. I ended up getting one of these, but if I do end up getting a third one, I'll go with another organic cotton. Whether I go with the same color again or like a white or a gray or like a light green, I don't exactly know what we're going to go with, but I'm really liking it. But if you're like feeling material wise, this one is definitely a little bit softer, but not like exponentially. But I think they're about the same price, so I might as well go with the organic cotton. And then the last thing I ended up getting, which I never had one for Easton, it is a change pad cover. With Easton, he just laid on his change pad and I'd wipe it down if there was mess, which was super great. I could quickly just take my spray bottle, clean up the mess, and go about it. But I found it kind of cold and maybe not cozy for a newborn. Mind you, I never even had a change pad for my older two and they were fine. But this is just super cute, and I'm actually gonna take it out of the package. Again, it's from the Levtech brand, and it's super, super cute. You're gonna hear me say that every single video I talk about this baby, you're gonna hear me say that, so bear with me. But it's just this super soft, super soft material. Um, super cute, kind of like a minky material, and then it also has the floral on the outside. I'm not sure how well you can see it. But this floral is just so pretty and I love it. I don't know how practical this is going to be because again, like if this gets like poop on it, it'll probably be pretty gross. I'm sure you can get pads or something like that to put on top of them, which I guess you're kind of defeating the purpose. This is probably more for show than practicality, but it's just gonna be really, really nice and cute. And we're not getting a change pad because we don't change my toddler on his change pad very often. He's like bouncing around, pulling everything. He is definitely safer on a bed or on the floor with just like a uh, muslin sheet or something like that. So we're definitely gonna take his um, change pad and put it in her room and just to save on money and then be able to reuse things as well and just add a little cover on top of it. All right guys, so that sums up this baby girl haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I also have a little bit of a haul in my 28 week pregnancy update. I will link that video up in the cards and down below as well. So you guys can check that out if you wanna see other newborn-ish items that I ended up getting. I will be doing a ton more of these because as you saw, I didn't show you a ton of stuff and she definitely requires more things. So stay tuned for those videos. Like I mentioned in the beginning, turn that bell on and subscribe to my channel if you like them so that you don't miss when I post future baby girl videos. Anyways, thank you so, so much for watching and we'll see you on Friday. Bye guys. I lose my breath whenever I see you.